Hello, it's Dog21 here doing a Nick's character guide as you all requested. And these are good so it's some good items you can use. A good build is Vampire Teeth, Adrenaline Shot, and Happy Treats when you're fighting in high leagues. Another build you could use is Adrenaline Shot, Molotov Bomb, and Cluster. As you can now, and so that's really good for the update. We're going to go into that a bit later. I think Adrenaline Shot should be in most builds. And with Adrenaline Shot, there should usually be a healing item to, to give it more use. Uh, a build if you're in high leagues like GM1, GM2 could be Toolkit, Happy Treats and Toolkit. I personally use Adrenaline Shot, Vampire Teeth and Molotov or Happy Treats most of the time. Adrenaline Shot you should mainly pair with either Vampire Teeth or Happy Treats. Your doctor's coat is okay for tubes and bandage is a good item too. Obviously, defibrillator is amazing in when you're playing in duos, trios, or big teams. And yeah, that's some other good items which are like jungle boots and wake up coffee. But the items that were circled at the start are the good ones. Nix's primal instinct is knockback dash, which is okay. Okay, we're gonna take all the points off. I was doing some like funny cooldown videos, uh, so they were still on some of that stuff. But okay, let's start with the shotgun. I don't think the shotgun really needs very much velocity, since you would usually have nitro shotgun on. I would put most points into range, maybe a few into cooldown reduction, maybe one or two into velocity if you've got a couple of extra points, but I would do velocity last. It's more if you like light velocity or you feel it's good, but I would always put lots into range and a few into cooldown reduction, just because the range is so useful for area damage, which is really helpful for Nyx. So I usually use like six in range, one or two in cooldown reduction. Bomb, when you're playing in big teams, like go full radius, absolute full radius, and when you're or when you're in solos and using Molotov and Cluster. But, so I would put most of it into radius and maybe a few into cooldown reduction when you're playing in solos, but not really when you're playing in big teams. As the radius it makes the cluster even more big and the Molotov stronger in duos, trios and solos, I would use that very much and because it really helps as the cluster bombs get really big and everywhere it is basically bomb. For bow, I'd put quite a bit in for velocity, quite a bit into range and a bit in cooldown reduction. I don't, if you're playing in high leagues, you might want to put a bit into not back, but I don't personally do it. So I usually put a couple in range, maybe one or two in velocity and two in cooldown reduction as they, I find this most effective and helpful. It's kind of more the what, what fits your playstyle most, but I would always have some in range, radius and uh, yeah, range and radius. I'm going to do, be doing a solos game here. I hope you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and comment below, thank you.
Let's go. 